Hi, this is Philip with G6 Technology Services. In this video, we're going to go over how to create a Windows 10 installation USB flash drive. This process will also be very similar if you need to use a DVD, but it's recommended to use a flash drive if you have one available. So the first thing we're going to need to do is open up a web browser, and then we're going to search for Media Creation Tool. And this first link is the one we're looking for. And then we'll go ahead and click Download Tool Now. And save it. And that won't take very long to download. It's a small file. So once it is downloaded, we'll go ahead and open it. And then it's going to take a minute to load. And while it's loading, I'll just let you know that we do need to have a flash drive that can be completely erased. Uh, as far as I know, there's no way to partition it or let it use a specific section of the drive. It'll wipe the entire thing. And it does have to be at least 8 gigabytes. It can be larger than that, but it cannot be smaller. So once you have your flash drive that can be erased, that's at least 8 gigabytes, you can go ahead and plug that in any time and then we'll just wait for this program to initialize the rest of the way. Okay, now that we've got our license terms loaded up here, we'll go ahead and click Accept. And then at this point, since we're going to be creating installation media, we'll select that option and click Next. And then we get to choose what options are installed onto the drive. So if you use the recommended options for this PC, in most cases that's going to be fine because you're probably using a modern PC that's already set to your correct edition and language, and that is 64-bit. But if you do need to customize anything, you can just uncheck that, and you can change uh, your language to something else. Uh, edition can't be changed, or you can change your architecture. So we'll just go ahead and use the recommended options for this PC for this example. We can go ahead and click Next. And then at this point, you can choose whether you're going to be creating a flash drive or a DVD. So if you are going to be creating a DVD, you just select ISO file, and then it says here you'll need to burn the ISO file to a DVD later. So it's just going to give you the file, and then you'll have to use the built-in uh, Windows uh, DVD burning software to do that, or you can transfer the file to another machine. So that would be an option also if you just needed the ISO for example to create a virtual machine it would be easier in that case just to have that file rather than making the flash drive and then having to let the flash drive be detected by the VM software so anyway in this case we're just creating the USB flash drive to install onto a physical machine that for example has had a hard drive changed or has been upgraded with an SSD and it has a completely blank drive and we need to install a fresh copy of Windows. So we'll go ahead and click Next with the USB flash drive option selected and we'll select our flash drive from the list and again you do need to have that flash drive plugged in so if you haven't done that yet you can go ahead and plug it in now and then just click on refresh drive list and it'll reload and it should show up right there. So we'll select our drive make sure it's blue and then click Next. So this should be a completely automated process. It's going to take some time. As it says up at the top, feel free to keep using your PC because it does have to download the installation files from Microsoft so that depending on your internet connection that could take a considerable amount of time. Um, judging by the flash drive size that it says that you need, which is 8 gigabytes, you can expect that the amount of data that's going to be downloaded will be somewhere around that. So if you do have a fast internet connection, it won't take that long, but if you are operating on a slower connection, this might be something you want to let sit for a while and come back. So we'll just go ahead and uh, come back after this process is finished. Okay, and that process has completed.
and our USB flash drive is ready and it's reminding us of the drive letter and so in this case it's our E drive. So what we can do now is click finish and then this is going to clean up some things and we'll head over to this PC just to verify that everything worked and it looks like it did ESD USB and it's got our Windows files so we can go ahead and just right click and eject our drive and that's it the flash drive is complete and you're now ready to reinstall Windows so thanks so much for watching I hope that this video was useful if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below have a great day.